Lazy Kitchen. Today I want to talk about pomegranates. Now, pomegranates are messy, but they're also really lovely to look at, and they make a beautiful salad, and they are tasty to eat. So at some point you're going to want to figure out how to get at those seeds. So today I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. You start by slicing off both ends of your pomegranate. And then, you know what, I'm going to get a smaller knife. Hang on one sec. Because you also want to score your pomegranate in, without going through, you just want to score the, um, the rind, top to bottom. Without going through any of the seeds if possible. Okay, that's the first step. Then, and here's the trick, you want to put your pomegranate in a bowl of water. And you're just going to break it apart. Assuming you have scored it properly and you're going to try not to spill water all over the place. So you just break it apart like that under water. And then, let me just, I'm going to take this part out so you can see better. Um, see how all the arrows are in there? Uh, these are, the seeds are called arrows. Um, they're going to sink because they are full of juice. And the boring parts are going to float. So you can get rid of them. So you just you know, work a little bit at a time and take them apart, pull them apart from the membrane here. But if they're in water, if you keep them down in the water, then they um, won't squirt juice everywhere on you. So you just work at it for a while and get the, all those arrows off. And you can continue to break it into smaller and smaller pieces. But you can see how um, the seeds that aren't very good, the ones that don't have much juice, they'll float to the top too. And so you can just skim those off. And then when you're all done, um, the juicy seeds will be in the, uh, will have sunk to the bottom and you can just use your um, strainer and strain those out. So it's not not difficult by any means but it is kind of messy if you don't know the trick if you were just to cut take a knife and slice into a pomegranate you would not be happy because it's a mess so do you see how all those are just um, in the bottom of the water there just waiting for you to finish and use them all up uh, 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 one pomegranate makes about one cup of seeds. That's about what each pomegranate holds. In case you're using a recipe or something that calls for a certain amount of pomegranate seeds. That's all there is to it. Just keep working at it until you get the seeds out of the membrane. The membrane floats and the good seeds sink. That's all there is to that.